Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's Natasha from Natasha Natters. If you are coming back, thanks for coming. I appreciate you coming back to see me. And if you're new, please come and subscribe and hit the thumbs up, like buttons and all of that gibberish. Um, it would be lovely to have you here. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment of the best bits of your video. Uh, so let's get started. This video is just a raw, get ready with me, chit chat, Monday morning, fifth week of lockdown, complete. And uh, let's just have a bit of a chatter about my life and how I'm feeling. As this is a raw video, guys, I'm not going to spend hours and hours editing it because that's what happens um, when I end up not publishing for so long because I'm spending time trying to edit everything. So this camera right now, my main camera's downstairs because if I, if I go downstairs, Annabelle's with the daddy and if I go down there I will lose my freedom <laughs> she will be coming back up here and that's fine but you know sometimes you just need a headspace of a clear head I'm gonna do some makeup to just feel okay with being on camera because I just really don't do it and it's it's been weird how I've managed it lately I think the two factors have been not that I'm more comfortable with it but that my skin has got a lot of sun on it which is nice and healing anyway, but it's giving me a bit of a tan. I've got stre uh, stretch marks. I've got tan marks. So I hope you guys are... I can't. I don't want to take it. I've just taken it off from a shower. Uh, so I hope you guys are well. I hope you're having a really good time. Um, this lockdown is a bit weird, so it's a bit ironic saying that really. But and the second reason I think my skin is better is because I've not been wearing makeup every day. And I've had such a break from it. Um... I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm not 100%. And I did do a face mask the other day and a week or so before that. So I think I'm starting to look a bit more, look after my skin a bit more. I did those nose strips and then I did a charcoal one and a peely one. I think I might do a, a spa night video where you guys can just do your spa at home and feel like we're all together having a bit of a spa pamper. Um, I've certainly enjoyed watching a few people's videos lately while they are doing their spa time. So yeah so while i've got fluffy blonde hair <laughs> it's gone a bit fluffy i don't feel so bad in the mirror but i'm going to just have a look i've chucked all my makeup into this is my one for the car that i use before i get into the car before i drive off i mean when annabelle was a baby i would literally just have to do my makeup once we got in the car it took everything i had just to kind of get everything ready get in the car get settled get sorted and then once annabelle's in the car she was fine like not that she wasn't fine but I could then relax and like just do my makeup so I had this regular ritual of having a makeup bag in the car I do my face care very quickly and then I get in the car and do my makeup then I was comfortable enough leaving the house without it on you know blah, blah. um and then I've had two trays I use I've, and they've got a bit mixed up here basically but I need to look after my makeup a bit better I'm just gonna try and use what's in this bag and I will do a sorting through video I've got so many things to sort through and apparently people like watching people sort through their stuff, which is great. I've tried to do videos like these for years and I've just stored them on my hard drive. I just want to see if I can tone everything down so I don't have to do full face. For example, if I do gentle eyebrows, not pomade eyebrows, can I then just get away with a tiny bit of concealer dabbed on my eyes or something? I don't know. Also, I don't really know what I've got in here if I've not got enough stuff definitely need to go through this one bag although what's the point in having a card bag if I'm not going to use it anymore might as well just use one key makeup bag of stuff for the day now if I'm toning it down woo I don't even need to put the rest of the stuff in do I so I've got this was the Poundland one which is quite subtle because it's that subtle there's your proper shot guys um <laughs> it's that subtle which kind of works can't even see this eyebrow because the sunlight. I have been doing more plucking over the last week or two. You see, what I do is I go for perfection, then before I know it, I'm like big, bold eyebrows and then need to do the rest of the face. So I always think, just sort the eyes out. And then I remember Lydia commented the other day, she was like, eyes first and then fate and then base I didn't realize that but there is two parts to that the, the, the experts told me to do eye base and then eyebrows I think or was it eyebrows first then eye, eye base I can't remember I've got the footage I've got I'll go back and have a look for you but you still do stuff on your eyes my face is feeling nice and hydrated now which is really good um I have been trying to drink a lot more water Oops. 
stars mean to go on if I put it off I won't have a drink till the end of the video and God knows when that will be I have got a tea oh it's peppermint I was hoping it was a normal tea because I'm on peppermint it's Mark can't really win because I'm on this health kick I'm trying to look after myself I started for a few days just making tiny little changes I'll talk about those in a bit I said your tea's on the oh, I couldn't hear him because I was in the shower he texted me twice and shouted but there we go. But I've still got peppermint tea last for ages. I kind of thought, oh, the comfort of a warm cup of warm, um, milky tea. Um, but the problem is milky tea is there's milk in there and that's carbs and there's sugar in there. There's no worry about that, guys. I'm just saying the point is I need to cut down a chunk of my daily consumption because I'm not doing exercise. And if I can bring in a little bit of exercise and loads more water, I can feel loads better. I think this might be a bit so hot. annoying when you turn your phone into airplane mode and it still puts alarms on there for you. Right, so I'm happy enough with the eyebrows. They're subtle enough for me to feel okay. So I need to do something about this. So I think a really wet sponge, I'll just tip my water on. Um, with my with my water bottles, I take the straws out so I can really guzzle guzzle because I find that you need to have a lot of water in one go. Especially when I was teaching in the classrooms all the time, in and out of classes, I was like, oh, oh. you only have like 10 seconds to think and go, oh, drink, quick, guzzle, guzzle. Um, and when you're teaching, you're breathing out all that oxygen and air and getting really, really thirsty. I don't, you see, I like having a makeup bag, right? Because it's portable, I can do my makeup anywhere. So if Mark's asleep, I can do it in another room. But I also like the idea of having everything all laid out. And I did have, but I filled the room with stuff for Annabelle, Annabelle's stuff I was selling. So I haven't really got a place anymore for it. Um, I'm just going to use the makeup I've got in this bag, which is my best one at the moment. Estee Lauder Perfectionist. I don't know. Do you ever shake yours? I don't ever. I really don't shake mine. I always put it on the back of my hand. Bit of a bad... I suppose it's not a bad habit, really. Um, my sponge, how wet is it? I don't know. I've put I've put my usual usual dose on. I'm not supposed to put so much on today, but never mind. Let's just start with the. I'm just doing the puffy bits of my face. I'm not going under my eyes and doing the whole eyes first today. This is kind of habit. So talking at the same time, <laughs> I am better off just talking to you guys and doing what's second nature. But this is a newer thing. This is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I got given it -da, as some castaways, is that the word? Um, a lady, a really lovely friend of our family, was given some products. And uh, she didn't think she would use a lot of them. And she thought, who would use them? And she thought of me, which was brilliant. Because at the time I was like, oh, I'm seriously lacking in treats in the makeup world because I'm a mummy and I'm not working as such. I'm just working small bits of work at the moment. And, um, well, I'll come to that another day. But I was kind of just doing a little bit of work, not full work. So the income wasn't giving me makeup spends. So I definitely haven't bought myself any new makeup apart from an eyebrow pencil or foundation for a while. Um, Mum put some bits on my Christmas list, but we went to Primark to get those. I can't believe it. I've shopped in Lancôme, Chanel, Clinique, uh, Estee Lauder, so many years. And then when you kind of, you kind of realise and you're like, oh, wow, £100. Okay, maybe I could just spend a tenner and then I wouldn't have as, you know, I'd have more money. So I kind of ended up going for cheaper things. Um, but when this lady gave me all these goodies, I was like, Wow. I mean, what are these, these Real Techniques blenders? They're about 15, 20 pounds, I think, or 10 or something. Very expensive. Um, one tip I learned is you're not to drag it across the skin, but that's an old habit. I will still do that. Um, you're supposed to dab because what it does is it pushes it into your skin. And the more you push it into your skin, the more layers, the longer it will last. And I feel like, shite today I wasn't going to say that because I don't really like swearing but I do I like to get it out there's like this little good side and bad side that says go on just say it but now I've got a child <laughs> it's not um exemplary especially being a teacher tutor you kind of have good good behavior a lot of the time um so if I put too much on I was gonna say I feel like I, I feel like rubbish so I kind of feel like full face would make me feel better 
but I did say I was going to try and do a natural look so I'm going to stick to that maybe later oh it's Monday <laughs> who dresses up on a Monday night oh but maybe I should do a get ready with me where everyone joins on live and we all just get ready for a night in but it's out and we put some music on well I can't put music on because of copyright but we um perhaps we can do it in the headphones but we have a bit of a, a party at home a communal facebook not facebook um youtube live party um <clears throat> and then you guys can send me all your pictures on instagram uh that would be really cool what do you reckon would that be a good idea am i completely off my rocker talking of that i've done some tiktoks lately i don't have the time to spend long on them so i've just done like a two minute video ideas thought it through filmed it boom um so if you do find that you're liking tiktok at the moment then um have a look i am v natasha morgan on tiktok T-H-E, Natasha Morgan. So have a look. Tell me if I'm completely stupid or I need a bit more practice. Um, feedback's good. Feedback's good. I'm going to put some natural. Yeah, see, if I put, if I try and make all this look perfect, from a distance, I'm going to look so made up. That's defeating the object. And then there's more to tidy up later. So just a little. This is Jane Iredale. I bought this sealed from car boot or charity shop or something, one or two pounds. Or maybe it was even less. Oh no, it was from a really cheap charity shop, so it was even less. And it's just my favourite kind of light colour. It's called Warm Silk and it is just, this is starting to look like a makeup tutorial video, isn't it? I do have lots to share, but I'm a bit old now, I'm a bit past it to be doing makeup tutorial videos. But I suppose if there's a colour or something I share, then I might as well, if I use it, I might as well share it. But this was my nails. I've got some dust in them. I was dusting and I, I thought I'd got it all out. Anyway, the point I was making about makeup is the, the, the I've always used a light colour over here since I was about 10. Not 10, like 12, 13. And once I used this sort of silvery grey colour and this German exchange lady came to help us and do some conversation drill, drills with us because I did German A-level and French A-level um, while I was doing Spanish evening classes um, at 17, 16, 17 years old. Um, I loved languages, I still do. And that was my, that's my vocation. But more on that in another video. Um, this German exchange student came over. She was an older pupil and she was helping us with our oral exam um, practising and that kind of thing. And she was like... Are you okay? You look a bit. What have you done to your eyes? And I was like, oh, a bit harsh. <laughs> I used this sort of silvery grey, and it, it just made my eyes look too dark. It was just so funny. But I must have used it sparingly, like as a as a, light, a highlighter. Oh, but that's where different people have different ways of saying things. English people are more diplomatic. Um, foreign cultures. Some foreign cultures are more outgoing and more um up there and philippines from what i learned from the filipino filipina culture is that they are more reserved and polite and um you, you you know it takes a while to build up that rapport to get honesty and truth out of them they would rather just say nothing and be really nice about it so there's lots of lessons you can take from different cultures around the world I haven't worn this for a while oh it's a size 16 it's tu it was charity maybe one or two quid um I just kind of thought <clears throat> the zipper jumper would be quite nice, especially in this weather. I was out in my bikini yesterday, guys. Um, it was that hot. Um, but yeah, so, but I'm kind of, I don't like jumpers that are too big and baggy and hot some days. So this is kind of an in betweeny one. By the way, I'm going to do a video of Mark doing my highlights because I haven't got highlights. I think the sun's given them a bit of a, a light in, but because I didn't, Drying by the way, I've just been sat here and it's been drying while I've been talking to you. But the, the light coming in from the, the, the window, which is just there, is making it quite bright on top. But it is dark. I do need to redo my highlights. It was December, October, November, December when I had it done. So <laughs> it needs doing again. And I really want to be blonde again. So I'm going to go for that. Um, I have lost the plot of what I'm talking about. Um, I do need a bit of mascara or eyeliner or something now this is not with the theme of being natural so i'm going to see what else i've got this is doll eyes from long gum from long gum the o on top of the hypnose and the long gum means you stretch out the o shaped sound so it's long gum not lancome long 
French L A N is long, <clears throat> like long languages. Anyway, language lesson over. This is my concealer. I've just found it. Let me put it back in this one. I don't think. Yeah. The reason I put this in my travel makeup bag is because pomade is easier than having to sharpen a pencil. So I didn't put the pen there. I really hate seeing all this makeup in this bag down there, in this box. It looks like a trash box. It's full of rubbish. But there's some beauties in there. I want to use this today. I can't be bothered reaching through the other stuff. But also, because it's not getting much use. And if you can't use it when you're in lockdown, when can you? Um, to feel better. So, I don't know how... Is everyone else bothering with makeup when they're home? Just to kind of stick to the norm and cheer themselves up? Oh. Guys, it's quite therapeutic, remember? I remembered, like, one of the tips I got was, was you know, when you do put your makeup on again, when you do put an effort, it's not just feeling better afterwards when you've put your makeup on. It's that bit of time to look after yourself. Because you think about different things when you're making up your face. Did I sound old with that sentence, making up your face? I'm so sorry if you can hear that noise. Oh, God. I don't want to take it out because it's life. I d I'm learning the more honest you can be, the better. But, I mean, you know, I won't tell you what it is. If you hear it, you hear it. But, you know. Oh, it's pretty. And I definitely want to pink on my cheeks right now. Whatever happens, I'm always pink, 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 pink. So I need to do a bit of contour, and I think... Oh, that wasn't the point, though, was it? That's another new thing I learned from these guys. Oh, got all the wrong brushes in all the wrong places. I do need to proper sort out. I think I need to put everything in one big... On one big towel or something, one big table. I think I need to take it downstairs. Yeah, normally I would have done it in my bedroom. Uh oh, too much. See, I just kind of start and then I can't. For me, it's all or nothing. It's not just let's do a little bit of makeup. It's let's go the whole hog. But I've always been such a motivated, driven person. So there we go. Felt a bit rubbish this morning. Felt a bit tired. Didn't get my lion in the end. I don't ever get lions. I, I did get one a few weeks ago. Um, but things went a bit wrong. But I'm going to try and change these sleeping arrangements to get a bit of a better sleep in the morning when Annabelle wakes up um, and see how that helps. I'm a bit tired and I wanted to get filming and talking about stuff just to kind of express myself and I couldn't because I hadn't couldn't be bothered to have a shower. I had a scar on my face. I didn't take it off last night. Um, and I'm going to put some cute pink lipstick on now. And then I feel better now. I've watched some videos. Tidied a bit of my craft room. This behind me, I don't know what to do with it because they're Mark's boxes and his computer chair and my briefcase. These behind me, I, if I can stack a wall high, I will. It's so much better than having stuff lower down. Um, but I'm kind of struggling because... Um, I don't... I kind of... Even if I had this area clear... It still wouldn't look pretty and great and it wouldn't be functional because I need to use the walls, not clear the walls and have stuff all over the rest of the place. So I'm kind of thinking um, maybe I need to hang a backdrop from the curtain rail. Oh, bingo. You see, the idea's come now. Um, this colour was Avon. I get given stuff as well from my mum and my sister. I do need pink cheeks, guys. This one is a long come freebie. It's called... Blush Sutile, which is French for subtle. Faire à joue longue tenue. Oh my god, that accent was terrible. Faire à joue longue tenue. Voile de couleur intensité modulable. Which means it's long lasting cheek uh, colour, blusher. And the it puts a, a veil of colour and the intensity can be um, changed. 
I do miss my French. Let me know, guys, if you want to learn something French in every video. Um, so, rose is the colour pink. So that's your lesson for today, rose. Or if I can do some sort of cool video, I would really, really love it, guys. So please put down in the comments what you think I should do in a French sort of video on my vlog channel. Because my language channel has millions of views and that's fine. And I just, all I need to do is just put some videos up if I can be not bothered but motivated and then I can sort of kind of pick that back up again but I haven't really been in the zone to do anything professionally on that channel yet so I'm just kind of sticking to my home vlogs um but anyway uh I was thinking if I put if I hook some material from the back there across I don't um, know if it's a good idea to hang it from my I could do some sort of hanging thing from my curtains I'm sure Mark could do a hook in the roof and even if I hook a few things to that hook and then have an eyelet on them, a piece of material with eyelets on it, um, I can have a hanging backdrop. I have got a green screen backdrop as well, but I've never used it. Maybe I should do a video on that. Film me messing around trying to use it and then film the videos from there and have a go. I've always wanted to do a video with like a beach backdrop or um, the Eiffel Tower behind me for my French videos. So, um, but I was, I kind of just doubt if it would work because of the quality of the colour on the, the creasing and so on. But I guess I could just steam it if I haven't got a steamer. Um, I guess I could just iron it. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to get hungry now. I've had a few rice cakes. I have not got a stash in here. I've got some almonds and some um, cashew nuts, natural ones, that I have a handful of. I don't really believe you should have loads of nuts in one go. So I'm a bit hungry there. Also, um, hey, this is a really fancy mug. It's been made of plastic. Mm, yeah, I can't tell you much more about it. It's called R Cup, R C U P, and it's recyclable. You can get you can get replacement lids. They'll give you free lids. Um, it's just made from loads of different cups and stuff. This this was a um, from Truck Fest. I went to Truck Fest last year. I love going to Truck Fest. There's cars, there's lorries, there's I was going to say rock hard people. Um, people are a bit more tough, a bit more you know not so wishy washy. It's a nice it's a nice vibe going around Truck Fest. I've been going since I was about twelve. I used, once I got on the bus and went with my friend, and then I went with my nan one year. Um, it's a really, really amazing show for the whole family, but it's expensive um, for the whole family, really. But I went last year and we picked up a few freebies and stuff. And um, um, some things you start to use, you're like, oh, this is brilliant. It might not be pretty and cute and fluffy or glam, but this is me. I'm kind of tomboy meets, I don't know. I don't know who I'm anymore. I used to be a bit of a Mary Poppins, prim and proper, meets BMXer, um meets completely ditzy crazy girl um slash professional woman who's do you know it's a right mixture a right mixture i might have to do another video in future on just kind of proper um this has been like a therapy video for me um but look i feel so much better i've got blue eyes again um Yes, I might do a video in, in in future on my life in pictures, or I can't draw pictures, no. My life, a glimpse through my life, or my personality changes or traits over the years, who knows. Um, we shall see. But this cup's sticking to me now. I don't know if it's my moisturiser or not. Um, I think I've come to a natural pause in the video. As I said, this was a raw one. I didn't want to do any post-processing, um, didn't do any pre-planning. Um, I have forgotten the point I was going to make. I think I've covered everything, but this is my life, guys. This is what would happen if you were sat in front of me having coffee, old busy mates meeting up for a catch up. I would lose my thread. So um, <clears throat> that's life. And I've learned to not be so hard on myself and be like, you know what? That is fine. So if you guys have watched this video all to the end, um, I'm learning a few techniques to do to engage, to increasing. Oh, my hair's dry. Yes, yeah, nice and soft. To increase engagement on my channel. Uh, so if you pop a comment in the box below that says razzmatazz if you get to look at that eyebrow going if you get to the end of this video um you can see i've cheered up so much just filming this um pop the comment razzmatazz uh, at the end and um 
a bit random, but there we go. Um, and I appreciate your support. Please click on the subscription bell if you haven't already and the notification bell so it comes on for every video as soon as it comes on. So you can join me on my lives and I can help cheer you up a bit if that's what I do um, and give you a bit of company over this lockdown period because it's still a miserable time. And for anything, um, it's been great for me to escape into the YouTube world and still feel like I have a life. Um, have an amazing life at home, but it's still that life, that external life that's, that's um, there to go. So, so many thanks. I'm going to do a thumbnail shot now. No, no eyebrows, no eyebrows, don't do it. All right, let's see if that worked. I don't know, but um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.